stakeholder of teamwork. Please note, this journey will require two determined seekers to get out alive with the object. In any city, in any country, find the nearest children's summer camp you can both get yourselves to. If you are alone, this is your only chance to turn back and ask a friend or acquaintance that is also a seeker or that knows about the objects to come with you. When you get there, ask the owner of said camp that you would both like to see the one they call the holder of teamwork. If you are still alone, nobody can be held responsible for what will happen to you. If, however, you are in a duo, the owner of the camp will step aside, letting you past, allowing you to enter a very makeshift door with a wobbly handle. Either of you are allowed to jiggle the handle for a while, even indefinitely, as there is currently not much to harm you for mistakes, at least not right now. Eventually, it will be apparent that it's no use attempting to open the door using conventional means. Instead, look upward and you'll see an open vent. This is where the teamwork begins. One of you should get onto the other's shoulders, lifting them so that they may crawl through the vent. If your partner or yourself navigate through the vent for a while, you or they will eventually notice a red button. Press it. You will both hear the sound of a mechanism. Help your partner back into the room. The door will be open. Inside looks like what appears to be an empty black void. Both of you should enter it. Stand in this dark room for a little bit as they are preparing you for your test. Soon the door will slam itself shut, followed by the room being lit by bright lights. You will see nine pressure plates on nine different colored carpets in that room. At this point, your reaction time can mean life or death for both you and your partner. You must both choose an individual carpet quickly, as when the lights turn on, you have exactly ten seconds to stand on one carpet pressure plate until the rest of the floor falls into the black void. You will both be blocked from each other's view by a wall separating all nine carpets once two have been activated. Each wall that has been activated by the pressure plates will show a monitor on it, showing a different color to each person. It will show the color for 15 seconds. Get a good glimpse of that color. The walls will retract again allowing you to see each other. Both seekers need to signal what color they get shown. If you utter a single word to your partner, the carpets will all fall down, and you will both be dragged down with them. One carpet is safe. The rest will fall into the void. The safe one is always the color you get, if you mix each other's color that you saw, stand on the answer. If you chose it right, you will both be safe, and you may see what awaits you. If you get it wrong, death is a certainty. At this point, to get the object, both seekers must still be alive, which is the presumed situation. A door at the end of the room will open, and the carpets will form a linear path to the door. Inside, you will see a man bearing resemblance to the owner of the camp. This man will have two glistening gold-clad medals, like you get in the Olympics, in each of his palms. Under no circumstances make direct eye contact with him, or your friend will soon be considered as a tasty snack for you. Instead, 
look away from him and both grasp the medals, putting them on your chests. At that time, a white light will fill your sight, and you will both be standing outside the camp, the medals in your hands. You have done it. Those medals are objects 631 and 632 of 538. They shine bright as a symbol of teamwork, but you do need all the objects together.